Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo, and welcome back to Shadowverse. Here's to hoping that that last episode, with all the new equipment added, went pretty darn well. Uh, also, the new position of the mic, which is down there. And of course, if I pick it up, or like, you know, speak directly into it, it's a lot better. But, it has a really, really crappy stand. It's a good mic, but it needs a better stand, because it's this itty bitty little, like, pole thing. It's like, here, I'll show it to you. It's the Snowball Blue mic. It doesn't go up very far on my table. And this thing, if you've had it, it's heavy as lead, so I can't just sit here. Yeah, I'm playing with one hand, speaking to the mic with the other hand. No big deal. Just a red glow on my face from the light telling me it's on. Just gonna cover that up with my finger real quick. I mean, granted this game is all point and click, so I could technically do this, but I don't think it would be preferred. <laughs> I don't know, I might give it a try. I want a better stand for it. It just needs a better, like, it needs a full-on, like, sitting on the table stand. And then it's got to come out a little bit so it can get right here. But until then, I guess it's just going to have to go back here. Sorry about all the ambience while I'm putting it up real quick. What a friggin' nightmare. I know, I'm a terrible person. I should just go kill myself. After gaining insight on Uriah's motives for Rowan, Motive, Urias's motives for Rowan from Rowan Erica continues hurrying back to the castle to protect the princess man get your sh together Johnson terrible I'm ashamed of myself I promise I'm making us a new deck next 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 play because I think we're gonna need There's it no time. I might actually lose this match because if I remember correctly from uh not Erica's but uh Shoot, I gotta, I gotta get my notepad. I can't remember her name, but if I remember her, if I remember from her storyline, I lost this one. Like, if I remember from the storyline of the other character that I played to chapter eight, when it came to chapter five or six, I started losing with the default deck. Excuse me, I'm on urgent business. Urias Formond. Who are you? What do you know? Today, who are you? What do you know? Tell me what I want to know. You tell me what I want to know. <laughs> Jeez. I am Eris Anthor, a humble priestess. I can save you from the sorrow that awaits. That is kind of you, but I can see off any threats myself. Have you not failed once already? I beg Oosh. your pardon? What concern is that to you? Yeah. Oh, it is a great concern. The princess's life is in more danger than you realize. There is a secret nearly lost to history. If you know something, then tell me now! Hmm. The daughter of King Balthazar was not the victim of consumption that most believe her to be. Oh my. What are you trying to say? What does all this imply? She was sacrificed to banish Urias Formon. That's enough of your slander! Wow. Speak the truth, you get killed in this storyline. Or at least fought in a game of cards. Deadly cards. <laughs> you must die. Liberation is at hand. Well, she did say you must die, so maybe it is a match to the death. To the death. Uh, Sage Commander, you gotta come out, buddy. I cannot afford that turn marker. I just can't do that. Ah, uh, hey, he came right back, because he loves us so much. That's great. That's, you're a great guy, Sage Commander. What, what did I ever mean to be, you know, knocking you out like that? I can light all these up. What happens when they're all lit up? Oh, I summon the unholy powers of, wow. Jeez. Can I, can I mess around with the bibble? No? Okay. I can't do jack on this turn, can I? Nope. Your turn. Now, see... They're getting more and more life as we go further and further on. Defeat me, but nothing will change. It's like now she's got 15. Why is there a turn counter next to this? Sacred plea, Havencraft. One cost. Countdown, three. Last words, draw two cards. Okay, so when she dies, she draws two cards. It's not a creature card, though. It's a frickin' spell. I, I, can't, I still can't do crap. It's cards, man. You frickin' hydrals. I live by the sword! Oh, I gotta pop my back, it hurts. Oh! Okay, what do we got here? What do we got here? 
Mercenary Drifter, 3-2, uh, Summon a Heavy Knight. Okay, we're going to go with him so I can build up, you know, more... My allies, my more friends. followers fast. Lovely day for a fight! Yeah, you tell them, intern. Yeah, they can't, neither one of them have Storm, so they can't run straight in. Oh, God. In like one turn, she's going to get two cards. No way, is that another Look one? Look out for the others. Oh, my God, I love Havencraft. I want Havencraft cards now. They have so many turn counters. Countdown three. Last word. Summon a holy winged dragon. What? Oh my god. Her her, her entire freaking deck is just a... It's a countdown until I lose. Um... White general. Give plus two plus zero to an allied officer follower. He's an allied officer follower. Raise your blade. Okay. So it's gonna make him three. Come get some. Uh, yeah. Ah! So, I'm just going to go straight for her life points, saying as how her countdown mar marker basically turned this into a game of, you know, time. It's a countdown. Because, see, now she counts down, gets two cards. Look at you! This countdown You're goes, hurt. she gets a dragon. More and more countdowns going off. She's getting too much stuff too fast. Well, aren't you something? Oh, see, I was worried about that. Okay. But it's no big deal. We are going to... Let's see, uh, should I ward? She's only got a 2-1 and the countdown markers. So that's not too bad to worry about. These two both have ambush. Wow, that's a lot of ambush. If I could ward and then leave her out with them doing ambush. Let's see, what is Sage Commander plus 2 plus... No, plus 1 plus 1 to all other allied followers. He only does it once when he comes in, so... I think we just want to flood How the field. How much is in it for me? By the night's code, her life, ah. and then use unbridled fury next turn, dealing three damage with his X to whatever. This wasn't worth it. Whoa, what? I gotta check. I live right. by the sword. I missed the turn down counter or something. Look at you. You're oh, okay. hurt. You are doing way too much stuff, lady. Why'd you get two health? Nope. Sorry, everybody. Got to check the grave. What the heck just happened? Okay. Restore to defense. What? Oh, she can restore it to herself? Ability activated. Rabbit healer. Fanfare. Restore to defense to an ally. So she can restore it to herself as well when she comes into play. Okay. So that was just that little 2-1 that I didn't pay any attention to. Fighter came into play. Sacred Pui. Countdown 3. Last words. Draw two cards. Uh, mercenary Drifter, last words activated. Destroy a random enemy follower. Oh, I didn't even see that. And then, of course, let's see. Her countdown ability activated. Hire Heretical Inquiry. Destroy a random enemy follower. Countdown one. Card was destroyed. Last last words activated. Oh, man. Whew. So she gets so much stuff popping off at once, it's really hard to keep up with it. Right now, let's take a look at what she's got in effect. In effect is countdown three, last words, draw two cards. So she's got two tur three turns on that. And then countdown three, last words, summon a holy winged dragon. That, it's down to one turn. Oh, shoot, that's the one I saw earlier. Okay, we're going to flood the field again. 2-2 two, two, to all other allied followers. Let's get, uh, we can do, we've got six, four, five, six. We can do three damage to something. So we'll put him out and put this out and we can deal three damage to, I guess you. Wait, that's it? I guess I, I kind of wanted to, she's still got ward. He's got three, three. By the knight's code. Uh, she can go right through me for four this turn. Plus, there's that dragon coming next turn. I'm still going to go for speed ah. on this one. I've still got evolves. I can evolve her. You are done for. Make her stronger. Get her ready to do it. I'll show you roll. a secret technique. Hopefully. Uh, I don't want to attack with her yet, though. That'll ruin her world. Everybody. It's a 6-6. Six, six. Oh, oh, are all. Oh, no. Whoa. The moment of the so is at Why hand. are you gaining so much life back? Why are you, why are you doing stuff? Why are you... Oh, God. Stay date now. The order will remain. Oh, God. 
I'm gonna... No, I'm not gonna lose. I'm not gonna lose. Okay, let's look at what just happened. I got my butt whooped. Restore one defense. She has, like, an ability? What? What? Restore zero defense. Restore zero defense. Evolved. Attack white general and delight damage. It was destroyed. Okay. Let's take a look at him. He's just a basic 8-8 eight, eight with 5 left. What does she do? Fanfare. Restore one defense to all allies. Okay. So. Ah, that's why it was zero to some of them. Whew. Okay. So her fanfare is done. What does this do? Draw two cards. Same as usual. I just need to be able to maybe finish it. I've got one evolve left. Evolved to 6-8. Restore 1-1. One, one. She needs ward. I'm going to summon her and then give her... Then evolve her. He'll deal 8 damage. He'll take 5. She's at 4. She'll deal 4 damage to him, bring him down to 1. Or I could do this other option where I do Sage Commander. Give plus 1, plus 1. Uh, she'll die as soon as she's hit, but I don't, I need something with ward because I don't need 8 hitting me directly. If 8 hits me directly, let's see, she'll have 8 defense if she's, so she can't attack and destroy. Sorry about all that, I just need to understand everything. Another with ambush, that's good. So let's get her out Light there. The land. Give her some ward so I won't get hit with 8 this turn. It won't be long she now. She has ward already, but I wanted her evolved so she can almost Luminescence. Uh, if she attacks with her four, she'll deal four, take that down to one. Then she will kill him next turn, but then she'll die as well, and my field will be open, which will means I'll take four, which I'm going to take four anyway, so I'm going to save the ambush, and I can put him out to this turn. I live by the that. sword! Um, whew. Okay. That's, that's pretty much all we can do. Let's hope it pans out. Um, it depends on how, what she does and how she... Evolved. The opportunity for victory is My presented Lord. not by the player but by the enemy. Wait, that's it? Okay. She has to present me with an opportunity to win, and I have to take it at the right time. Draw two cards. Destroy a random enemy follower. That's not good. Summon a holy wing dragon. Shh, she's gonna get another one in three turns. Uh, we've got to end this. I say we go with Angelic Sword Maiden. Give her... Oh, I can't evolve her. But she'll at least have Ward, which would stop him. And then Sage Commander would make her a little bit tougher. Oh, this is tough, man. If I go 5 and 5... 5 and 5 is 10, so I don't have enough. 6 and 5 is uh, 11, so still not enough. I need that Ward out. Right upon the land. I need that ward out. She has six, so her total number of attacks, four and eight. These are all turn markers, so she should attack first with the eight, and then the four can get directly through to me, but that'll be okay. I'll figure out something. Oh, she still got, ah, oh, she still got wards going on. Two cards. Oh, that's right. Just May you rest in peace. Oh, is she reducing the turn counters? She's reducing the turn counters when she comes in the game. My lord. Oh, no. So, I'm assuming her ability is to reduce turn counters. Yep, subtract one from the countdown of an allied amulet. Oof. Okay, so they're amulets. Okay, so 9 and 9 is... Whew. No. 9. Shoot. 6 and 6 is 12, so I don't have enough for that. 5 and 6 is 11. There's no other allied followers. I I I'm gonna go with Ninja Master, I guess. Dead men tell no tales. So, what am I gonna take this turn? A lot. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. That, I think this is game. I'm gonna have to change up the deck a little bit. Because now she's gonna get that dragon. She's probably gonna be able to attack. Now she can attack. Uh. Apparently. Whoa! Uh. Nope, that's game. What is an exemplary battle? Oh. She dealt some sort of spell ability. Well, shoot. <laughs> Second episode of me losing. Finding it difficult. Play other leader stories to learn how their decks work. Well, I am going to change my deck instead and take out some of those doubles and triples. So, boop. select the stage. Okay. So we'll go back to the home page. 
So, and we'll unlock our card pack for the day. Home. And uh, where was it? Shop. Buy. <laughs> buy packs. I can build. I can buy apparently pre-built decks too, which is rather tempting. I'll take a look at that at some point. Standard card pack, zero, Wonderland Dreams, I'm, I'm very curious. Let's see, I don't know, should we work our way up to Wonderland Dreams, or do you want to see what the other expansions were first? I'll do the other expansions for now. If anybody wants to see the like, newest stuff, they can let me know. But this was the first expansion. I'm not sure when it was dropped and released, but it's Tempest of the Gods. Oh boy. 17 tickets, too. Not bad. Boom. Wait, I can do... I can do max. Well, I don't want to do that, though, because I want to pack a day, so just one, please. Use one ticket? Yes, 16 remaining. Yay! Ooh, the book's different, too. Check it out. Oh, I clicked over there. I didn't think it would actually work. Whoosh! Zap, lightning. Wait. Nice. And there's my rare. Support cannon! Oh, that's so cool. I feel like I've gotten some of these before. I think I've actually unlocked a pack or two from this set before. Oh gosh, that seems like the last one I should look at because it's so rare and hollow. Which one's more rare? I thought this one was my rare. This one's like rare and this one's like ultra rare. It's golden. I think this one's more uh, rare. Deep Wood Anomaly. Forest Craft. Wow. That is something special. Okay, well since I'm not dueling, I guess I'll pick up the mic. I don't know. Whenever this follower attacks the enemy leader, deal damage to that leader until their defense drops to zero? What? Let me, let me read that again. Whenever this follower attacks the enemy leader, that's your opponent, deal damage to that leader until their defense drops to zero. What? Wouldn't that make wouldn't that be an automatic win? What? Whenever this follower attacks the enemy leader, deal damage to that leader until their defense drops to zero. Okay, so it's just a bunch of grunts. Oh, what? 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 So he's got a 10-10. So if your opponent doesn't have ward, and you attack them directly, does that automatically win? I'm going to put this in our forest craft deck and see. That, that sounds really interesting. I don't know how that works. Because defense is your basically your life total, isn't it? I'm stupid. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Frozen Mammoth. Because, I mean, I know you can have defense in... Uh... You can have defensive points in... Uh, I'm getting all my games mixed up, but we'll see. Let's see. Uh, class neutral. Oh, you can put it in any deck. When you play a follower that costs at least seven play points, destroy this amulet. Amulet. Last word. Summon an Imperial Mammoth. Ooh, nice. So you play a big creature. This drops for three. It's a spell, basically. An amulet. Amulet is what they're called on here. When it drops, it's three for the drop, and when you, you play a big seven point card that follower that costs at least seven play points, it destroys the amulet. When it's destroyed, you summon Imperial Mammoth. Nice. Huh. What do you mean oh they have they have flavor text. What do you mean you heard an elephant? It was just your imagination, an Arctic explorer. Huh, nice. Nice. Uh assass ass Assault Werewolf. Jeez. English, Johnson. Clash. Gain Bane until the end of the turn if the enemy follower has ward. Bane is followers that have Bane automatically destroy any other followers they attack. Followers that attack them are automatically destroyed. Oh, it's Death Touch. I'm, I'm sorry about the Magic the Gathering um, references, but it's, it's how I understand it. Clash. Gain Bane until the end of the turn if the enemy follower has ward. Okay, so... Hmm. So you only gain it if the... Hmm. It's called Clash. It gives you Bane, but you only get it if the enemy follower has Ward. Which automatically destroys them. Which is good. Let's see. Then we've got... 
Mist Shaman. Fanfare. Give an allied follower resistance to targeted enemy spells and effects. Oh, I didn't... I'll preview the voice on the other Let side. the mist wrap around you. Whoa. <laughs> now then. I like his voice. The mist is scattering. Oh, wow. The mist and you shall be one. The mist and you shall be one. Okay, if you say so, champ. <laughs> Assault werewolf. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's, uh, it's like I thought, a bunch of grunts. We'll skip the grunts, frog bat. At the end of your turn, give plus one, plus zero. End of your turn, gain plus one, plus zero. Turn gain, uh, let's see, unevolved. Oh, okay, so it's the same effect. Evolved is frog bat. Whatever shall I do? It has a voice. Allow me to think. And it's very... I take my leave. Yuri, Yuri, Eureka! <laughs> Whatever shall I do? Uh, I can't say how that sounds. I just can't. <laughs> my ebon heart shall hew you. Oh, shit. Ebon Reaper. Turn to ebon. Oh, wow. You too shall turn. Last words, give Bane to a random al allied follower. Okay, yeah, and that's the automatically destroyed one. Nice, oh wow. Like, like, um, it's like a summon in the background. Nice. Your splattered blood turns ebon. Wow. Owlcat, does this one have a funny voice too? I'm hungry! <laughs> It does. Sayonara. <laughs> Sorry. Sayonara, really? Wow. Aww. It's like an owl and a cat. It's the mice is the bane of all mice. The hunger's killing me. Whoa. It's about to kill him. But, um, that's like, um, it's, it's like, it's cats with wings. Like when coyotes get jetpacks, that's the it, that's it for the world. Whenever an allied commander follower comes into play, deal X damage to a random enemy follower. X damage X equals the the attack of the commander. Huh? If there are no enemy followers in play, deal X damage to the enemy leader instead. Wow, that's good. Fire! Fire! And even though it doesn't, have, even though it's not a follower, it have, has a voice anyway. Fire! 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 <laughs> nice. All right, so that was our pack for the day, and didn't go too bad. Whoa, emblems obtained. Deep wood anomaly. Your rewards were automatically claimed. Oh, I can use that as a new emblem. Right now, I'm just using uh, like one of the sword warriors. Nice. Yeah, it's like that standard one. You know, the one where it says "raw and cool and casual," where where I start my match. Uh, let's see if I can go to it real quick. Yeah, see, that's the. Well, I can't. I don't know if I enabled the cursor on this version of Bandai Cam or not, but where my cursor is currently pointing is the up in the top left corner of the screen is my current emblem. But um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode, and uh, next time we're going to go to the next chapter. Uh, actually, oof, that's right, I lost. Well, next time I'll do some changes to the deck, and we'll win this, win that match, and then I'll unlock the pack for the day. So. Thanks, everybody, for joining me, and until next time, take it easy, my friends. <laughs>